All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to another week of Game Developers Club. We got a little different setup this week. We're using a, a camera over here on the side, and hopefully it's a better camera and it'll pick up all our voices. You guys should all make noise of some form, some type of... Cuckoo! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's hope that now when I play it back later, I'll know. Okay, we went over a lot of stuff last week, a ton of stuff in regards to storyboarding and kind of how we're, how we're setting up everything. So let's uh, just sort of refresh our memories on some of the stuff we're doing. I'm gonna drop our, our little fake map here. So we ended up with uh, finally saying that we're gonna have, <coughs> have like, the main island, right? And then we're gonna have, that's a bad camera, doesn't really show up. So we said we're gonna have the main island, we're gonna have like maybe four or five different spawn nodes, right? Have the option of being able to spawn ourselves. So that marker sucks too. So let's say this is like our main island, right? And we got like a little one here. That's gonna be too big for scale. Let me just review this whole thing now. Okay. Alright, so there's our island, our main island. Here's just like one of the starting islands. Here could be another starting island. Here could be another starting island. One down here. One down here. All right. So each of these, this will be like our main island. Each of these starting islands is gonna have. Each of these starting islands is gonna have its own specific. Thing that allows you to start there, like go find a glider or go build a boat, like we we're talking about, or, or maybe um, maybe get like radio device, things like that. And those each will allow you to get off your little island to get onto the big island. And when we spawn, wherever we spawn at, all the all the other mini islands will be disabled, so you won't have them in view at all. So it'll just give you that feel that it's a little bit different. Go on board still. I'll still remember it? Okay, cool. So, going from there, let's start thinking about this. What are the kind of, let's just stay, what do you guys think? You guys think five is a good number? I guess I have six right now, but how many, how many different starting locations do you guys think we should have? Well, I mean, we need to figure out what makes them different. Well, yeah, right, we're gonna have to go through and decide on what starting items you're gonna find, you're gonna find on your initial starting island. Right, and we just limit, limit ourselves to like five, and I was gonna say we try be, to make as many as we can. I think five would be a good starting point. I mean, we gotta also think that what they find on the island is also going to sort of, in a way, kind of help dictate what they're gonna be able to do on the big island. You know, so if you find a little raft, then when you get to the big island, you're gonna be able to transform that little raft into a big boat. Or I mean, that would probably be the most easy way for us to get off the island eventually in the end. So. I think that we should also have the player have the option to where if they do start on the raft island but they want to build a plane and fly their way off, they can do that. It's just, we'll take maybe a couple more steps than it would previously. So I think that maybe we should start writing out here what the different starting islands can be, right? So let's just say we'll put this one here, we'll put glider, put this one as a raft. This one as so in order to Tom's device. get all of those items, you have to go to all the islands. No, not at all. You won't be able to. You, know, you won't be able to see any of these islands when you start. You only see the one that you spawn on, and that will give you a sense of randomness. So each time you start a new game, you will be choosing one of these random islands to spawn at, and then those other islands are going to be are going to be just disabled inside Unity. We're only enabled the one island that you're spawning from. That way, you see. yeah, exactly. That way you can't have the player go to all these different islands and pick up all these little things. We were talking about that last week, and that was one of the things we said we could do that, but that would really take away a lot of the feeling of randomness. Like when you start a new game, I don't want the player to be like, oh, I know the glider's on that island, and I know that the boat's over there, and the comms devices up there, like we want them to feel like I'm on this little island and I need to get to this big island and that's that's 
the main goal. Is you don't like to concern yourself with these other islands. That just adds in the randomness to it. That's kind of what we talked about last week. So we got these three, right? We got columns of ice, divided around. What are some other good starting things you guys think of? What do you guys think to help us achieve our, our way from the small island to the big island? What was there so far? We got comms device, glider, and a raft. And maybe like, what I'm thinking is you have comms device, and on this comms device you can communicate with someone on this island, right? Who's got a bigger comm tower. And then they can maybe somehow give you some way of getting off this little island to get to this big island. But then once you get to the big island, you need to go and maybe like take over that comms tower or something like that, and then use that to send a radio frequency to someone far off that's gonna come and actually rescue you. The um, grappling hook could be one. Hell yeah, it could be one. <laughs> cool. All right, we'll put that. We'll maybe have that like a, a closer island, maybe, or maybe we can have a grappling hook and then. Or like, there's like a cliff face on the yeah, side. Yeah, close by. Totally you can't easy. get up otherwise. But if you, if you're able to assemble the grappling hook. <clears throat> That's another thing we talked about last week too, is that creating these items, I mean, you're gonna find the pieces, but you're also gonna have to create them, and creating them is gonna be the sort of steampunk thing to puzzle. And that's what's gonna really give a lot of extra depth to our game. So, so why wouldn't you just respawn and respawn and respawn until you get the grappling hook? Because it seems to be the only thing outside of maybe the glider that's worthwhile having while you're on the big island. Well, we don't know what's on the big island yet. We'll make each, we're not going to particularly make any one feel better than the other. I think that we'll probably have the grappling hook on this island regardless, regardless whether you start on it with your island or not, because I think that that will be a very, very integral part of, of our movement and how our character feels. Glider would be play. pretty cool, man. Glider would be really cool also. Or maybe we can have certain ways to where you can find these pieces all over this island and you can eventually build your own glider. And then I guess that would make sense, right? Because then that is going to eventually allow you to get off the island, right? So if you start on the glider area, you're going to build this little glider over here, you're going to glide over to the big island, and then you're going to essentially be adding to that glider and upgrading it more and more and more to where it becomes a plane, and then you can fly home. So we could do that. We could have each of all of these components also exist on this island in some way. So people have the option to get off the island how they want to get off the island. Cool. Um, the grappling hook lead to a way to get off the big island. Oh, oh, it's like the hooks to the moon, and then yeah, yeah and you just woo. <laughs> Maybe there's like a plane coming in, you like grapple to it, and then it'll fly you off. Maybe like hang <laughs> airplane. Maybe, but we have to find some way to to upgrade it and improve its 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 ability. Or maybe the grappling hook isn't a way to get off the island. Maybe if you start on the grappling hook area, you just have a, a a better ability to traverse the big island because you already have the grappling hook upon getting there originally. We like, do that. Like you said, how even if you start on the glider island, you'd still find like a way to build a boat. Yep. Like with the graphic hook, you can do anything. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that ideally, every player, every time through, is going to end up getting a grappling hook at some point, because this will allow them to, like, maybe get across a big gap, right? That they can't get across, or whatever, get up a huge mountain cliff, something like that. I think that. That's something that I personally would really want to have in that game, right? I think that that would be really fitting. <clears throat> Especially if you can make it all steampunky and cool again, I think that would be pretty cool. So, all right, we got those four, what else? Let's try to think of a couple more. This is really gonna give it some nice depth. And honestly, sky's the limit. If we could think of like 20 yeah, ideas, that'd be cool, but I don't, I don't I think I it's a little. I feel like we need a catapult. Oh, okay, <laughs> I like that. Build some, some form of catapult. It fits into the steampunk, because everything fits into steampunk. All right, like this catapult island. All right, what else we got? Right, let's, let's think of one more, then we can move on. I don't know, like fast shoes. You just run across the water. Hell <laughs> boots. I think that might be too strong. I really, really <laughs> just a jetpack. This is basically just uh, like a firework strap. <laughs> or could be part of one. What if we combine both of those? If you, what if what if you built uh, like an Iron Man type 
sort of suit esque thing to where you had the ability. I like the ability to be able to run across water. I think that's intricate, but we got to make it so. Right, so if the person's like, oh, I've got these super fast shoes, I'm just gonna run this way. Like, they're gonna have to hit some kind of wall at some point. And it could be where like you can run on the water, but you still start sinking a little bit. Oh, that's a good idea. You can only for an extended amount of time, maybe. Like, yeah, okay. if you're running really fast, and you can get across like little bits of water, mm -hmm. but after a while, you start to sink in it and go slower, and then yeah. drown. And when you and sink, remember there's the alligators because you can't. We will be able to swim, right? So. Okay, I like that. That's cool. And then, um, okay, so maybe we'll just start with just the shoes. You just find these, you assemble these shoes in some way, and that allows you to cross. And from there, you can build up those shoes into being maybe like rock power or something like that. You, you know how, like in Zelda, they had like the different boots that did different things. Mm -hmm. Like one would make you sink, one would make you kind of fly over a short distance. It's kind of where I was going with that idea. Like. It's really simple, it just changes one effect for having a different type of shoe. So like, being that it's steampunk, you can like, tinker with your shoes to like, make them do different things. That's a big idea. That's a little bit. Yeah. I like that, okay, so we can just so put, like, we'll maybe put, a double jump or something, or? We'll just put, like a little shoes. boost or something, I don't know. Yeah, I like that. And maybe like, there's a certain area where you can only get there if you double jump up and grapple them. Yeah, like exactly. Like yeah, that, I think that'd be cool. And things. then after you swing, you've got to use the glider to... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. <clears throat> then while you're gliding, you call one of the comms device for an airstrike. <laughs> Blow up the entire thing. Not violent. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. You call the guy to bring the raft wherever you need it. <laughs> and the raft. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings you to a catapult in the water. Fires Man, I really hope this picks up your guys' voice as well. This week. <laughs> it does. I already tested it. Oh, good. Cool, man. Awesome. Awesome, awesome.